Hello and welcome to another Manufacturer's Cup commentary. Uh, this time is Fuji Group 3 and in qualifying I have got myself in a slipstream train. So um, as you saw just then I actually pulled out of the slipstream. I didn't want to get too close too early down the straight. I wanted a bit of a gap so I could actually take advantage of the slipstream because if you're too close then if you catch kind of negating any gains that you're going to get. For the first corner I had a fairly good run out of it. I used the um, 100 marker there as a kind of breaking marker, get a turn in perfectly there. I had trouble through this corner, the McLaren just really doesn't want to turn through here. Just... So I am 2 or 3 miles an hour slower than most people. I completely missed the apex there and lose myself easily a tenth through that corner. That last the part of the track where I was struggling the most. Here, there's not a clear brake marker that I, w I had so I, ha I kind of braked after the, um, the 150 board I think it was. Here, I just tried to keep it tight and stay as smooth as possible. So I didn't like running as wide as other people through the section but here I kind of messed up and I didn't really get a good run through that corner so I cost myself another 10th tenth or 2 there. But I do get a good run out of the final corner and having the slipstream now down to the start finish line and having the most powerful car usually gains me back a lot of the time I just lost. And to start with I have a pretty good uh, bang for that. Okay, now he heading into the uh, race. This is a no-stop race, everyone will be on the hard tyres with more than enough fuel to go to the end, so it's a straight sprint to the finish. So even though I had set a fairly good lap, um, eventually everyone else improved and I dropped back down to 8th position, which is still probably higher than I was expecting to be honest, so I'm already in a better position than I thought I'd be. So I just um, sw um, swerve in a little bit just to uh, heat the tyres up a little bit. Into first braking point just take it really easy, Just I don't want to do anything silly at the start here. So I just want to settle in and then just look for chances to overtake where they present themselves. If they present themselves, because people will be fast around here but I know I have a straight line speed advantage but I'm going to be slower through corners like this. So I just need to do my best and hang on through this section. I get nicely turned in on this corner, there's a bit of chaos and I'm a bit slow through out on the exit there but because of the chaos I'm able to take the inside line and take that place. And then having the slipstream I'm able to pull in front, there's some chaos again in front, so I'm gaining these extra positions. And then uh, the Porsche gets the penalty for the contact just in front. And then I nearly get spun because uh, the BMW decides to try to take a lunge in a corner where he's never going to get an overtake done. 
but I do fall back a little bit because of that and that little bit of contact puts me outside of slipstream range to the car in third. So I'm actually kind of happy to go from 8th to 4th in this uh, first lap. Wow, I'm impressed. Thank you, Lewis. But anyway, uh, back to uh, this. Now I have the whole tra uh, train of cars behind me. So they're being dragged along by me on the straights and they're going to be faster in the corners. So I'm not going to be able to shake any of these people behind off unless I'm genuinely faster which is going to be hard to accomplish. So yeah, I'm a bit tentative into some of the corners still. I'm Especially this corner, I'm, this is the one that worries me the most because I lose so much time here, people can take lunges into this corner right here. But I'm just trying to keep it steady, just try not to make any mistakes because I'm, I find myself in a position that's much better than I expected. So again keeping it nice and steady through the uh, chicane here. Running a bit uh, deep through this corner puts me out of position uh, for the entry into this one but so I'm kind of running a bit deep again. The Ferrari in front uh, spins off the kerb, so now promoting me up into third place. So my uh, already lofty position of fourth is now a, a podium position, and the person behind has a penalty. So I now have a gap, and I'm going to uh, skip forward to lap six because it takes them that long, but they do eventually catch back up. So now I have the uh, Hyundai, uh, Hyundai that uh, was spun on lap 1 behind me, he's been taking a few tenths per lap out of me, just enough to uh, get back into the slipstream, then once he did get the slipstream then he closed right upon to the back of me. So this guy was one of the people who uh, qualified up nearer to the front, so he's he was faster than me. So I knew I was going to have trouble keeping him behind, but I was confident that you know as long as he raced somewhat cleanly and I, I could I could defend for a loss of the race and keep him behind. So I do take a slightly defensive line there. I don't lose too much time and again keeping it nice and tight. Being defensive, I am taking a tighter line than I would normally would here, so they don't have a chance to dive up the inside. So, but again, keeping him on the outside of these corners so he doesn't have a chance to go uh, dive up the inside. Again, tighter line. He's on the outside, but it does mean he gets a better run out of the corner. So right now, I know he's going to take a dive into uh, turn one. So I. I do take the uh, defensive line. It's not something I do a lot of, so I was always intending to go back. I was wanting him to be on the outside uh, for the corner, but he switches across and then outbreaks himself. So I go for the cutback and I retake the position. So he kind of played himself there. Um, by trying to make the move so late he kind of uh, missed this breaking point and I was able to retake the place back. Again you can see he's, I'm struggling to keep a gap here and he gets a better run through the corner and takes the lunge so he hits into the side of me and I get a penalty for god knows what reason. Because he was so impatient just to make him any move at any chance he could get. Uh, the way a lot of people are, they just uh, they, they see a chance, they have to go for it straight away. They don't think about time that they could lose. So he went for the first move in turn one, lost time, and then went for the move again through that corner. It's just 
just diving at people at every chance isn't the best way to race. You gotta think smart. But I got I got a penalty for it now. Now I'm gonna have to take the punishment for a move that you know was basically forced on me. So try to get back into the slipstream as early as possible and. Now with the uh, BMW trying to come past me, I have I have the slipstream and the gain, getting up to speed, so I'm able to just about hold that position. So, so I didn't lose too much considering, but still I'm in a low position than I uh, possibly could have been at this moment. So now I'm thinking, right, we just need to. Um, keep the slipstream to these cars in front, just don't want anything stupid to happen. And literally as soon as I'm thinking that, the BMW takes a dive on me in the same corner, basically instantly losing us the slipstream. Again, it's just this type of uh, racing, it's like you need to keep the slipstream to these faster cars otherwise you have basically just messed up your own race and he's just instantly done that for us. So now we're outside of slipstream range and having to uh, battle now and lose time where I could, I could genuinely catch up to these few cars in front if uh, I can keep the slipstream which would keep him in the race. But here he goes, he decides to take a lunge into the final corner because overtaking the fastest car in a straight line into the final corner leading onto a very long straight is going to keep you in front. I mean, at this point I'm actually shouting at my screen, what the hell are you doing, what did you think would happen? So I go back past him. Uh, and then he decides to take a dive back and I just cut straight back through and have the position again. And now the slipstream is gone forever and it's pretty much going to be impossible to catch with people fighting like that. This is what uh, the title of the video is, No Racecraft. It's like people are not making smart decisions. They're, they're basically costing themselves as much as they're costing me with these stupid overtaking uh, chances which are never gonna work. It's like why would you overtake the fastest car in a straight line leading on to the longest straight? It's always gonna go back past. So now I'm under pressure from the uh, Audi. Now again another car that's much faster through the corners but not fast on the straights. So I'm actually setting one of my faster laps this lap round. So even with um, the incident at first corner and then the BMW takes the same move and goes for an overtake. It, it does hit into me again but again I am again shouting on my screen you literally just saw this the last lap. What do you think is going to happen? And as you can see, I am basically back through at the start finish line with a lot of the straight still to go. If you're going to go for an overtake, you need to do it in a smart place. You can't just overtake somebody in a position where they're just going to go straight back past you. And as well as that, it's like all the time that I keep losing with these uh, position changes. So there's pretty much no way I'm catching the um, front cars now because my tyre wear generally is the worst um, in the whole field here. Just checking the end of the uh, at the end of the race, my tyres were the worst pretty much in the whole field apart from one. But pretty much like th uh, third lap in a row, fourth lap in a row, I got hit into that corner out of the uh, right hander. So I'm getting a bit frustrated at this point and um, so I saw a really good position with being in third and then 
just for things just to go wrong with one person hitting me and giving me a penalty, he just started a chain reaction. But at this point now, the uh, the group starts really squabbling amongst themselves and uh, changing positions. So I instantly break away from them. So I've gained a couple of seconds and now I have some clean air just to try to push and try to break away from those people. So I'm going to skip forward again and uh, at this point one person has started to catch up out of the whole pack and uh, there's a few others further behind that are starting to gain as well now they've uh, stopped fighting each other so now this is all a fight for position and like my tire wear has caused me to drop back a bit further from the cars in front but my pace was actually fairly good I was setting some fast, faster lap times um, but it just wasn't quite on the uh, on the pace of some of the other cars around me. So like, I was in the I was doing like 40.2s, whereas some of the other cars, like just in front, were doing like 39.6s, 39.4s. So here again, I'm just trying to keep it steady. I'm actually on a fast lap here. I miss my braking point, and because the rear tire wear starting to kick in, I do lose the rear, so it puts me out of shape through this whole. Uh, chicane section. So now I'm I'm starting to get under pressure from the uh, Porsche just behind. So I'm kind of preparing myself that I know I'm going to be fighting uh, a fairly defensive uh, last few laps to try to keep the position. So I just have to do everything I can to. Uh, stop him from getting a good run out of the corners and stop him from taking advantage of the slipstream. Because like with the um, spa race, I, I want him to be kind of too close during the corners so he doesn't get like an overspeed run on me onto the straights. So if he leaves the corners with more speed then the slipstream is going to give him more of an advantage. So. I need to try to keep him to a point where he's kind of too close to get a, a good run through the corners. But also I'm going to be taking fairly defensive lines. So with this corner I'm going to be running a lot wider through the exit so I can be on the inside for this left hander. He does get a better run out of the corner there but because I'm keeping my car to the inside he can't really get in any good position I go defensive again with this corner is fine because I have the inside and there's not really anywhere he can go to get past me through this section so again I keep it fairly tight into the uh, corners in this last section as you can see he's going much wider than I am but there's not really any chance to go around the outside there. I lose the rear a bit but again I'm going straight to the inside of the corner. And coming into the final lap now he's right on my tail. With him being this close if he pulls out of my slipstream then his car won't have enough power to go past me with being this close. So he has to stay in my slipstream right until the last second. So I'm already preparing for an undercut like I'd done on the other cars that had overtaken me. And he does run a little bit deep and I go straight back up the inside. So part one of uh, this defense done. Now I need to survive this long right hander. Again, I will. I'll be trying to keep it tight through the right hander, then run wide on the exit, so I have the inside for the left hander. He takes a wider line to try to get a faster run out of the corner, but he doesn't uh, get on the power quite as early as he had done the previous lap. So there's a bit of a gap. So I do have a bit of a safety margin. So I'm able to just run my usual racing line. 
and now again you'll see me going super tight through these corners just not giving him any chance to go up the inside well he was thinking about going up the inside there but because I was so tight he had to uh, change to go to the outside and I, I take the most tight line I possibly could through this final corner and because he gets the better run through it, as he's still trying to steer to go to the right of me, his car gets a bit loose on the rear, and that basically means I've kept the position. So, in total, I had a I had a good race. I I was definitely much closer to the pace than I thought I would have been, but. It's messed up by people making stupid moves at the wrong times and people need to learn to race smarter otherwise yeah, a lot of people won't get anywhere.